Hey there, welcome back to Pepper Geek. In today's video, we're gonna share some tips on how you can make your pepper plants grow faster. The first thing I wanna say is there's no magic in gardening. You're not gonna double your plant size overnight. That's just not how it works. But you can use some simple techniques to optimize your growth rate for your pepper plants, and we're gonna share some of those tips today. Some of the tips will improve the rate of foliage growth, and we'll share some other tips that will help you get ripe peppers faster or get more ripe peppers throughout the season. So the first tip is to pick early peppers off of your pepper plants. We did a video about pruning flowers early on in the season, but the same goes for early pepper pods. We have a lot of people ask us, you know, I have this small bell pepper growing on my little tiny plant. Should I leave it and let it grow or should I pick it off? The answer is always pick that off. It will steal energy from the rest of the plant and stunt the foliage growth and the plant will be focused on producing that pepper and seeds and wasting all of the energy doing that. So early in the season, always pick early peppers. It feels kind of bad to do it, but in the long run, you'll end up with a larger plant and more peppers. In a similar vein, when your plant is full-sized and you have ripe peppers, you should pick them promptly. As soon as you're ready to use them or they're fully ripened, you should pick them off the plant and that will encourage the plant to produce more flowers, more pods, and ultimately lead to higher yields. Another important tip to remember is to make sure that you start your plants at the right time. Starting your peppers too early is just as bad as starting them too late. If you're starting your peppers indoors, you want to make sure you have enough space to accommodate them when they start transplanting into their larger containers. By starting your peppers at the right time, you're making sure that they're able to grow to their fullest potential. Determining when to start your plants depends on your hardiness zone, and we do have a video about this that we'll leave in the description below. Our next tip is to use a regular regimen of fertilizer, and in particular, synthetic fertilizer will lead to faster foliage growth. Now, if you've been watching our channel, you know that we recommend organic fertilizers. They do more for the soil. They'll help build healthier living soil over time. But if you're growing in pots and you don't mind using inorganic fertilizers, they do have a more available version of the nutrients that your plants need, leading to faster growth. So we recommend this Fox Farm Grow Big, and there are two other fertilizers that go along with it as a set. And the nitrogen in this is more readily available to the plants. The only caveat is that you have to be careful not to overdo it with your synthetic fertilizers. If you go too strong on the nutrients, you can end up burning the leaves and you'll see sort of nutrient burn along the edges of your pepper leaves. You'll especially wanna be careful with chemical fertilizers early on when you're growing seedlings. We recommend diluting by a half or even a quarter when your plants are still seedlings just to be on the safe side. Even at that strength, there should be plenty for your plants to get off to a good start. But if the goal is to grow your plants as fast as possible, synthetic nutrients will actually work better than organic. If you're growing in the ground, this doesn't really apply. You can still use inorganic fertilizer in the ground and it will lead to faster growth, but it won't do anything to improve your soil. So we'll touch on that a bit more later. Another important tip is to make sure that you keep pests and diseases under control. If your plants are stressed, they're going to focus all of their energy on protecting themselves rather than growing to their biggest, fullest potential. Of course, different insects and pests come along, but you can do your best to try to keep everything under control. We have lots of resources on peppergeek.com on controlling different pests in the garden as well as controlling disease. Another tip for faster growth is to use grow lights. We've said it before, if you're starting from seed indoors, you wanna use grow lights to get your plants off to the strongest start. All of the plants you see here were grown from seed this year, even this monster, and they were all grown under grow lights from a seedling stage to when they were ready to go outside. You don't have to go crazy and spend a ton of money on an LED light if you don't want to, especially if you're just starting from seed and getting them ready to go outside. Young pepper plants don't need that much light, they just need a longer duration of light. So we recommend about 15 hours of light when the plants are in the seedling stage, and that's a lot more light than they can get from any windowsill in your house. We have an article about the best grow lights for peppers, so if you're interested in buying one, we'll leave a link down in the description. Another important consideration is to make sure that you're planting in the optimal place for your pepper plants to grow. Of course, plants need light to produce energy and grow. You wanna make sure that you're planting in the sunniest location possible so that they can grow to their fullest potential and produce maximum yields. If you're growing pepper plants in pots, this is easy to do because you can simply move the pepper to a sunnier location. Whenever you're changing your pepper plants to a new location, you wanna make sure that you keep a close eye on the leaves for sun scald. Be sure to adjust your pepper plants gradually when increasing sun exposure. That's not to say that pepper plants need full sun to grow. Plenty of our plants do just fine with morning sun. So the next tip is to improve your soil. 
So if you're growing in pots, this really means just experimenting with different potting mixes, making your own or buying different brands. Peppers like a pretty well aerated and well draining soil. So the easier the root system can integrate with that soil, the faster the plant is gonna grow. You may be wondering what this big plant is planted in and it was Fox Farms Happy Frog potting mix. So we didn't do anything to the mix other than add some nutrients. And clearly the pepper is loving this soil. But you can also make your own potting mix for a lot cheaper with some raw materials. But we like to encourage doing your own experiments and finding what works for you in your climate. But if you're growing in the ground, things are different. You're gonna to wanna to build your soil and make it a living environment for the roots to thrive in. And that basically means adding organic material to that soil on a regular basis. So the easiest way to do this is to make your own compost and then work some of that compost into your raised beds or your in-ground beds in the springtime and that will integrate into the soil that you have already and improve it over time. Compost is great because you're actually adding volume to your soil and not just a liquid fertilizer. And compost is full of life, beneficial bacteria that will integrate with your vegetable gardens, root systems, and only get better over time. So while this doesn't contribute to the pepper's rate of growth, container size is very important to consider. As you can see, this Santaka pepper has been constrained to a much smaller container than this Sugar Rush striped pepper. And the results are pretty dramatic. A larger container size is going to result in a larger pepper plant. Our next tip is to transplant your peppers at the right time. Oh, sorry. Yes, this plant is the perfect example of transplanting at the right time. We had space to transplant just one or two peppers into large pots while they were still indoors. And this plant just got the perfect transition from a three inch pot to this seven gallon pot. And as you can see, it has just exploded and become the biggest plant that we have. We have the same variety of plant planted in the ground. And since it's cold here all the way through to about June, we weren't able to move that into the ground until about June 1st. And so that plant is set back significantly. And this one is already producing dozens of full size pods. Our last tip is to try growing in hydroponics. This is obviously not a method to improve the growth rate of your potted plants, but it is a fun experiment. Over the last two winters, we've been experimenting with hydroponic growth, and we find that the plants grow way faster in water than they do in soil. For a really easy way to get started, you can use something like the Aero Garden, which is basically just an all-in-one kit. All you have to do is fill it up with water, add nutrients, and add water periodically. You can also, of course, go down a rabbit hole and do DWC or Kratky method hydroponics, but if you wanna keep it simple and get started and try to grow some things in water, uh, that's a great option. We documented our experience of growing peppers in the Aero Garden in an article on Pepper Geek, and I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in reading more. So that's it. I hope these tips helped you get your peppers to grow faster. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and we'd be happy to try to help out. Thanks so much for watching Pepper Geek, and we'll see you next time.